Oh, hello guys. Today we're going to be looking at these cool little exoplanets. Like, looking on the earthquake. I might have posted two months ago, I think. And you may have, some of you may, may have been mad with me for not posting videos for a full month. And then I might. Posting loads of content, content again, and they're just me. So that's that. Yes, I'm just making a video. And here's LTT nine seven two nine B. It is a hot, an ultra hot Neptune or Jupiter. It can sometimes be a hot Uranus. An ultra hot Uranus. Then there's Saturn, which you do know about. Let me just put it on. 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 Let me and film still here you you're such a cute what are you eating he's chilling on his toy box oh don't eat your toy box storm yeah so funny here you go storm are you gonna say hello to my viewers <laughs> Yeah, just leaving, darling. He's a bit happy, isn't he? Yes, he clearly is. Oh, oh no. let's get more tech guys. Oh, but oh, 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 I'm going to sit on upstairs because that's what I thought we'd do instead of just must. And it's actually pretty nice. Nice, nice. This is Sun, and he literally might have. He might have rings because, well, one of. Because one of Saturn's moons. Four billion years ago, Saturn didn't have its rings until. Or well, some planet. So one of its literally most, literally almost all Saturn's moons started getting incredibly close, and then the they got so close, the gravity destroyed it. Still, and there's still some moons that are literally inside Saturn that are literally inside Saturn. Some of the so Spad House literally every single one. Everything literally, most of Saturn's moons are inside the planet, and it was literally in the gas. You would imagine standing it, you would be crushed by pressure being on its closest moon. So, Mimas is some moon that is literally this close, and Enceladus. So the closest moon to Saturn is Pandora. Is a moon called Pandora, and it is like inside that band. It's inside Saturn. It's on the outer edge of Saturn's gaseous layers. It's literally inside. You may think that the moon's all been like that. They actually all be like that. They all be like that, and then there's Saturn. And then there's an orbit line of its closest moon. 
This closest moon is literally inside Saturn and it's really bad so we'll have to end the video when we reach six minutes. One more minute guys then we'll sleep. I stop recording. Let's bring your friend choice one E and D. Let's get them. And we have a new planet to come and say hello to us viewers. It is Kepler 138E. Kepler 138B. It's not Kepler 138B. Kepler 138E. Kepler 138E. Which is some exoplanet. It's Earth like. And it's tidally locked. Actually, nope. This is actually Capchin's Capchin Star C. I mean B. Capchin Star B, which is also pronounced for short Capchin B. And it is very new to my is my planet ball collection. And guys, I'm having some horrible trouble holding these. And then we have these two more. And then we're also going to bring our new planet in. Captain Star B. It is none. Oh, come on. It's just falling out of my hand. Poor Captain Star B is not happy. He just doesn't like me. For some reason, my, one of my exoplanet, one of my, my newest, my new planet ball, that is new to my playboy collection. Doesn't like any of them. A just evil, evil. This one. Why, why do you look? Well, you look. Well, you look totally different, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm so cold. I'm starting to freeze over. <gasps> Yep. And then here's the end.